you know, the, the Mexican brands that were being offered here or the Latino or Hispanic brands that were being offered here, they've lost their authenticity, they've lost their originality. And and then and they're not keeping up with the new trends. And so that's that's how I started ideating that there was a, a big... So you saw that in the market. You were like, okay, this space, is an interesting exactly. area. How do you decide what product to go that, for first, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So when I moved here, my mom, Lupita, would send me care packages, right? You know, granted, a regular care package from a mom would be like a sweater, maybe some socks, a little money. That would be nice. My mom would send me hot sauce, a family recipe hot sauce that she made. And this family recipe had been passed down to a single family member of each generation. You know, in, in Mexico, we don't inherit cars or jewelry or money. We're too poor. <laughs> what gets passed down to us are our family recipes. I'm the guy yeah. who brought the hot sauce to work, right? Like yeah. the workplace, yeah. like, ah. Uh, I'm try some homemade hot <laughs> exactly. sauce. <laughs> and so, dude, what's that bottle? Like, you know, immediately when they, they see like a, a funky looking bottle that doesn't have a label, it just like, it's like, what is that? I was like, oh, it's, it's my, my, my mom's hot sauce. I put it on my salad or my sandwiches. I was like, can I, can I have some of that? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah gonna, it's, it's spicy. And that's the other thing that, 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 I, that, I, that I started to realize that, that I've seen change over the, over the years is that the American palate has, has evolved tremendously. And in Mexico, we've always had that perception that here in the United States, you know, uh, you know, American people were, couldn't tolerate uh, spicy foods, right? That was our, that's the Mexican thing. That's our thing. Oh, we like spicy food, right? And the yeah, Americans don't know. So I was kind of surprised to see that when I started sharing my mom's hot sauce, people started falling in love with it, literally falling in love with it. And, you know, every time I went back to Mexico to visit, like they would intercept me on the hallway or like, dude, heard you're going to Mexico. Can you tell your mom to, to, to make me a bottle? I'll pay or, or whatnot. And so it started evolving and growing that way, you know, until, until it became kind of unsustainable. Like, guys, I cannot take any more. I'm My leaving. mom's working around Ex the clock. Exactly. <laughs> man. It's like, a, I'm leaving clothes behind. <laughs> the, 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 the custom agents are getting suspicious. Like, dude, what are you yeah, doing? And like, last sauce. time you right, came yeah. here, you were bringing three. Now you're bringing like 13 bottles. Like, what's up? And so, yeah. <laughs> You're paying them off with hot sauce. You're like, here's some for you. Here's a little hot sauce for you. Vaya con Dios. 